your mind right now in general is used by the ego. 99% of the thoughts that are generated are generated by the ego. Its algorithm is functioning and you're buying into it. But that thought is not a thought that the ego can have, you see. The ego doesn't want to win the game, or it wants to convince you that winning the game is having a lot of toys and right, things that the ego thinks is winning. But when you understand that winning the game means getting rid of the ego and those thoughts, then you'll say, okay, this thought too, because it can be appropriated by the ego, has to be the last thought and now be in silence. That's the winning. Okay? The decision to win then will give you the willpower to stop the thinking and turn inward to the real self that knows without thinking. That's your intuition and that is more powerful than thought. And then that will blossom into the infinite intelligence of your real self. And how long is the game? How long? Like, is this a chess game, or is it like one of these crazy uh, computer games that Kim was telling us about the other night? <laughs> like, does that depend on the player? Like, what kind of game do you want it to be? Is it a quick snakes and ladders game, or does everyone have a d different game? Well, even chess can be very quick. You know, there are people who play these five-minute chess games. So that, it's not a, if you're talking about a, a clock time, chronos time, that's up to you. In any instant, you can win because the real self is not in Kronos time. And so the moment you say, this is the moment that I'm, I'm choosing to be liberated, now you're in Kairos time. Now you're, you're out of the circumference of the circle and you're in the radius and you take it all the way to the center, the ion, and you're in the timeless. There is no time. It's an illusion. Only the ego thinks there's time. So once you're in that timeless, you're out. You've won the game if you can stay there and without identifying with your icon that's in the game, all right? You're not that icon. That's what you have to let go of. Let it do whatever it does spontaneously without your identifying with it. But what will happen is when you're in the very center of being, that infinite source of all that manifests, you will then that self, a ray of light, because you will be the sun then, right? You'll be in the central sun, the light, will shine upon your icon and suddenly it will be a liberated being that appears. But it won't be any identification of a self in the body. It will be the infinite that is simply manifesting in one more form uh, its own light within the matrix. Okay, But there won't be any ego appropriation of it because the ego will have died into the sun. Thank you. I look forward to that stage. That phase. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, that doesn't have to be any meantime. That's a choice. I've it's been, mean time too. Uh, it's true. It's very mean. Um, I've been contemplating this week. Like, okay, so whilst I'm in the game, I realize I can I can understand it's an icon and I have enough distance, but then it still buys into it. So, because you love your icon. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. You love that more than you love your real self. You know, there, it's a concrete image. I can, I can understand it. The ego, you know, can, can deal with that icon and knows how to navigate using that. And so it's very attached to it. But it's very limited in the potentiality that it has. And you can't stop the icon from aging and you can't stop its world from collapsing. You know, you're really powerless. There's no free will. And the algorithm of that icon is not controllable from within it. It's so you're, you're going to find yourself doing things you don't really want to do and creating more karma, more suffering. And the meantime will get meaner and meaner and longer and longer as your power drains instead of accumulates and, and augments. So the sooner you choose to eject from that icon and realize your real self, the, the more uh, power you will have and the more ability you will have to help others to escape also before the end. And the more you'll be able to get rid of any prarabdha karma that will remain even after you get liberated, right? There's still karma for the icon. So if you want to protect, uh, let's say, the, the, even the icon's life 
from having to go through a dark night, a hell realm, a destruction of the world, then you want to hit the singularity now and uh, draw up all the consciousness into that form and let the light then shine uh, into the world giving blessings, not still trying to struggle to, to get to realization, right? And then that will enable you to graduate from the game once and for all. Go for it. Okay, the world thanks. needs goddesses. You should volunteer. Mm -hmm.